Across the country, this debate continues. In several cases, monuments in honor of Confederate soldiers have been or are in the process of being removed. The large majority of those are in southern states, but now this statue in Ottawa County is under fire, and at least one group wants to see it gone as soon as possible. In Allendale Community Park, just off Lake Michigan Drive, is the Veterans Garden of Honor, nine life-size statues in tribute to those who served. But it's this Civil War statue that's now under scrutiny. As far as we can tell, this is the only Confederate statue in the state of Michigan. The statue depicts a Union soldier holding a U.S. flag, standing back-to-back -back with a Confederate soldier holding a Confederate flag. At their feet is a black child holding a sign that says freedom to slaves. Michigan should not have a statue honoring a Confederate soldier. Michigan soldiers were Union soldiers, not Confederate soldiers. And so that's why we'd like to see her statue taken down. Mitch Kale is the co-founder of the Michigan Association of Civil Rights Activists and says the statue is offensive. The way that they've depicted this African infant, this, this young child as a slave, uh, you know, essentially naked on the ground, wearing his cotton picking hat, uh, essentially at the boots of Confederate soldiers. I never could have said that they came up with that could be more insulting to African Americans. Kale and his group are urging the Township Board of Trustees to take the statue down. The statue should come down, and I think, especially in Michigan, uh, it's, it's highly offensive, and I think that, uh, to be honest with you, I believe the trustees will do the right thing and take it down. Yeah, I tracked down a former member of the local historical society, one of the people who helped donate to put the statue up in 1998. They said they believe the statue is a good way to remember history and they will be saddened if it got taken down. And we'll be at that township meeting tomorrow night at 7 where this discussion will continue. Live in the newsroom tonight, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News.